Reading three sport tonight, Iron Mike Tyson has big raps on up and coming Kiwi heavyweight boxer Shane Cameron after sparring with him in the United States. The former world heavyweight champ invited Cameron to Phoenix to help him prepare for a return to the ring in three weeks. And just a day after kicking out ESPN out of his gym, Tyson gave this world exclusive interview to former New Zealand champion Danny Codling for three news. What's your thoughts on uh, New Zealand's own Shane Cameron? Um, I didn't, um, I didn't know they had guys that tough in New Zealand. Um, he was, you know, he's very durable, very tough, and he's just, um, very hungry. He's a hungry fighter and a determined fighter. He's just a little young guy and needs to be more, he needs to just work. His punching is great. His punching and his fast punches are great. He just needs to work on a little bit more of his elusiveness. So with those heavyweights, those guys, they don't have to know how to fight good, but the strongest time they hit you, they can hurt you. You know what I mean? Anybody can hurt you in that division. But, you know, with his hands being so fast, he can most likely connect first and he punches a lot of punches so he'll keep guys basically covered up a lot how do you think Shane would go in the US with some hard training he would do very well in the US he would do very well in the US very well very well now um you know Shane Cameron's a Maori and uh um, we were from New Zealand. Can you tell us a little bit about the tattoo there? We, we, we see some multi designs on your, uh, on, yeah, on, on your face um, there. I wanted to get what my friend was looking in a book one day. He's a tattoo artist, right? His name is Victor Paradox from Las Vegas. And I said, you know, Victor, I want one of those in my face. He said, you don't got the heart to do that. I said, yes, I do, Victor. Come on, let's do that. But we were going to do the whole thing. But Victor kind of want to do your whole face. I said, he just did this right here. <laughs> sure. Now, what's your fight coming up um, against Kevin McBride? How are you feeling? I know the camp's going well, but what are your thoughts on it? Oh, I feel good. I'm a squash Kevin McBride. My whole intention is just to squash him. You know, he talks nasty stuff. It's sometimes disrespectful. I just want to go in there and get him real good. He talks a good game, but does he bring a good game? I don't know what he brings, but he's going to find out what I bring. Shane Cameron, I know he's looked up to you. Uh, you've been an idol to many of us young fighters coming up through the ranks. What are your tips for Shane for the future? Um, just to stay busy, stay active, you know what I mean? As long as he's active and don't get rusty, you know what I mean? Because that inactivity, that should hurt you more than anything, more than anything, more than losing fights in a row. As long as you're active, something good can happen to you. You can lose two fights, and as long as you stay busy, you can fight somebody, fight for the title and win, just because you're active and the other guy's not active. That's what win fights, activity win fights, more so than the best fighter. The guy's going to be a more active person. I'm Mike Tyson. Thanks, brother. God bless. You're Thanks. back. Uh, yes, I and Mike talking to Danny Codling there. Now Shane Cameron jumped at the chance to spar with the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, once feared for his explosive power. But the mountain warrior and Australasian heavyweight champ also has an upcoming fight in July for the IBF Pan Pacific title on TV3. And as Scott Campbell reports, his training is earning himself a reputation. When Mike Tyson enters the ring on June the 11th for his comeback fight against Irishman Kevin McBride, he'll not only be wearing a Māori moko, but also some bumps and bruises, courtesy of New Zealand. For me, getting in the ring with Mike, it was a scary moment when we first got in there, but uh, once we started uh, throwing shots, it was just like a, well, I've never, never held a spot like that before in my life, but uh, you know, it was great. You know, I've done eight rounds with him now, and I'm um, looking forward to doing a few more before I head home. But because Tyson fights in three weeks, those sparring sessions are off limits to the media. Three News has learnt, though, that yesterday's six-round session was called off early when a Cameron uppercut caught the former world heavyweight champ flush on the chin. He wasn't holding back, so I, I wasn't holding back either. So we got some good rounds and, you know, uh, as I say, very explosive rounds. I've never experienced that in my life. When Mike steps into the ring, you can see him switch. It's his office, and um, he has such a ring presence, you know, that watching him stalk in, in, in the corner, both Shane and I, um, it definitely was something to be uh, astounded by. But. but the admiration is mutual. Tyson's trainer, former world champion Jeff Fennick, says Cameron could go all the way. I think that if he's uh, managed properly and, and, and put in the right fights at the right time, that this kid could go all the way to the top. Fennec had heard of Cameron from friends in Australia and invited the New Zealand champ to spar with Iron Mike in Phoenix. I'm positive of one thing with the sparring that Shane's given Mike in this last week, that Mike will be more than successful in his next fight. And it's also the perfect preparation for Cameron, who fights for the IVF Pan Pacific title in July. A win against Roger Eisenready would see the Mountain Warrior jump into the top 20 rankings. For me, it's a great confidence booster, you know, to be in the ring with Mike, you know, and do, do, you know, I thought I did pretty good against him as well, you know, so it, it makes me feel better in my mind when I'm coming up against uh, more experienced fighters. So uh, I think it's a great confidence booster, and it's just going to help me get to the top. 
And to help Tyson get back to the top, Cullen Sports' Don Mann gave him some good luck from New Zealand. Uh, protects you from bad spirits, evil things. Who's going to call you? And, uh, this is what I need, definitely. Safe. Yeah, this is what I need. So what's it like for two Kiwi boys being in the same ring as a former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? It's a dream come true for me to, to, to get in the ring and, and spar the likes of Mike Tyson, so very honouring to, to do so. It's absolutely surreal, you know. Uh, I mean, there's a certain aura about Mike, and uh, he's, he, he's still got it when he walks into the room, you know. Everything, he, he runs, well, there's Mike Tyson. But according to Tyson and his team, in a couple of years it could be, whoa, there's Shane Cameron. Scott